Uh, next, I'll ask uh, Vivek from Jinko. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, uh, before we start, can we have a quick show of hands on how many EPC companies are here? M maybe some EPC companies. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so before we come uh, uh, to to the to the main part of the presentation, we'll we'll just come up with what is Jinko. I'm sure most of what uh, most of you know what Jinko is. Uh, so so as in today, we are the largest uh, uh, solar panel manufacturing company in the world. Uh, we have a capacity of uh, uh, more than 6.5. This is a slightly old presentation, but uh, this year we are projected to do around uh, uh, 8 plus gigawatt, and we have around uh, uh, six global factories, and most of them are in China. Uh, in India, we are we have we have done uh, uh, a, a lot of installations, but I think what differentiates Jinko from a lot of other companies is, apart from the big size, is that it is a very financially stable company. Uh, it has very stable uh, debt equity ratios, and uh, uh, banks really put Jinko as uh, top of the heap when it comes to the discussions around bankability. So, but but you know this presentation is more about uh, uh, telling you about the product roadmap and uh, uh, some guys in the market were saying you know panel is a commodity there is no difference between a tire O and tire two and a tire three guy so so maybe maybe just kind of discuss some of these things with you. Uh, so again, this is uh, I mean this is our uh, this is what we keep on saying in every presentation that uh, please don't look at uh, the cost just look at the levelized cost of energy. I mean th this is our st standard. Uh, uh, talk every time and uh, to be very to be very frank I, we, we hope it changes in the future because right now everyone is just looking at capex no one really looks at the uh, the, the, the levelized cost of energy so irr depends primarily on the yield which is uh, the revenue the, the more the yield if, if you get more yield for the same capex obviously your lcv goes down okay even if i can if I, even if i can get five percent more energy using spending the same capex i mean i hope you agree that the lcv will go down but uh, even though we speak about these things, I think in implementation, uh, it, it is still around two, two, two steps forward. Maybe this is something we'll start doing in the future. There is cost reduction. Obviously, cost reduction is very important. Nothing to do with yield. Uh, can I get, can, can I inst in, install the same one megawatt by spending less money? And nothing to do with yield. C can I spend less money? Can I spend less money and install the same one megawatt? That is, that is the cost reduction. Cost of finance, nothing to do with us, but uh, it has, it has suddenly come to discussion because of these really low bids that, that are coming. I mean, is it Islamic funding? Is it is it funding from a uh, US? Is it funding from some very uh, cheap banks? I mean, all sort of talks are going on, and, and I wish someone would have spoken of this in the morning. But we are no expert in this, so 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 cost of finance is obviously something that goes into uh, reducing the LCOE, LCOE, and then obviously risk mitigation. Uh, you know, banks in India are uh, too. I mean, the word probably is not to use naive, but banks. Really, just think about a tire one list from Bloomberg, and you know these are the 30 makes uh, that uh, we approve of. And to be very frank, if you Google tire two Bloomberg, you will not get any result. So it seems that almost everyone has now made into the tire one list. So it it is hard to find a tire two list. So so really, is there is there a risk that we can address by thinking which is which is which is the right module for it? And all these things will now go into something that uh, is there in the middle called as IRR. So we'll start off with the uh, what what is Jinko to offer to the Indian market? Of a standard product, it is the Eagle series, which which is a standard polycrystalline module, uh, and 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 this is what uh, this is our bread and butter in India. I think uh, the 72 cell module, as you know, is is more preferred nowadays because of capex compared to the 60 cell module. But really, is is panel really a commodity? I mean, if we just blow off a panel, this is what a panel looks like. I mean, I I can see probably eight to nine or maybe even ten to thirteen components of a panel. And every every part of the panel has 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 a specific job to do. I mean, the biggest faults. I mean, can anyone guess which is the most faulty thing? Which is which is the biggest fault that can come after five years of a panel service in the field? Anyone wants to make a guess on that? Which of these parts do you think is is is, is the number one uh, uh, claims? Uh, actually, probably not for us cells. Maybe yeah. I think a lot of bypass diodes will uh, will 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 get shorted simply because you know there was a huge reverse current from the from the next string and then the bypass diode uh, got shorted. Uh, a, a lot of that it has to do with backsheet. To be very frank, you you will see in five years the biggest uh, problem you will see in fields is is, is backsheet. 
that that is the number one fault in the market and uh, uh, even reputed companies are experimenting now with new back sheets that have really not been in the field for more than two or three years. So, so Jinko has this film. Yeah. So you're from which company? Okay, okay. Yeah. So, so you know that the standard warranty is uh, 25 years, but the design life is 30 years. I think sales, I have not, to be very frank, I have not seen too many issues with sales. I mean, sales probably will affect more on the performance side. Yeah. No, it's, all, it's all made in China. I mean, the panel sales, everything is made in China. Can I have a request? If you have any questions, if you can jot them down and keep them for the end of the session so we can just quickly, otherwise, uh, lunch will start moving further away. Yeah. So, so, Jesse, so I think backsheet is the number one problem. We see a lot of breakages with glass. People are coming up with thinner glasses and the mechanical strength of these glasses is, is less. We also see a lot of uh, uh, problems of hot spots and hot spots will happen because of soldering, uh, which, which will happen at, at because maybe the interconnects are not soldered properly at the right temperature in the right way. So, so I hope you agree, you know, that someone when says that, uh, uh, you know, it's a journalistic approach to say that there is no difference between all, 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 all of them because, you know, you have four tires and a steering. That's the same as a Maruti and a Mercedes. But, but the fact is that there is a big difference. I mean, why would Jinko use a high-end back sheet? And why would a competition use a cheaper back sheet? Obviously, to save money. So, so, so this is quite common sense. But, but somehow, you know, when we buy module, then maybe, you know, the heart reigns over the head. But uh, there is a lot of differentiation between the modules and it is still not a commodity. So what is the products that we are giving up? So uh, the 1500 volt module is, is going to be the de facto standard maybe in another six months. So anyone wants to make, make a guess on how much uh, maybe string combiner boxes can you save by using a 1000, 1500 compared to a 1000 volt module? Is it a one half saving? Is it a one third saving? Yes, exactly. So, you, so you'll have a one third, so you'll have a one third saving on everything. You'll have a one third less string combiner boxes. You'll have a, a, a one third less cables which run from every array back to the string combiner box. So, so I think this product is becoming very uh, popular. Maybe in six months you will see around uh, six to seventy percent of installations on the fifteen hundred volt module. But obviously the inverter guys have to catch up on this, which is really the main bottleneck. Yeah, this is this is something exciting. So, so Jinko is launching the 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 perk module, and if if some of the EPCs are uh, looking at high efficiency modules, you can talk to us after the show or maybe in in, in the lunch break, and uh, we're launching the high efficiency perk module, and. Uh, uh, so, so there is only one manufacturer in the world that makes machines for Perk. It is Meyerbergs. It is a European company. And, and that is, again, is, is, is the next bottleneck. So using Perk, we can increase the efficiencies from current levels to around 10% more like in, in, in the same surface area. So, so typically for a two square meter panel, wherever we are right now, we can give around 10% more. That, that is the beauty of Perk. So if, if technically more, the, the yellow thing that you see is more like a dielectric on, on, on the bottom of the panel. This is more like the dielectric and uh, so so if, if there is any light that goes to the dielectric, it can get absorbed and create more current. That's how the efficiency goes up. So this is the perk panel. Uh, I think 2018 is the big year for the perk panel. Uh, the bifacial panel, another interesting thing that is coming in the market, more, uh, I think more, more, more juice for the rooftop guys to sell in the residential market for bifacial. Uh, so this is a cell, this is a cell which is having cells on the front side as well as the back side. But, but then a lot of people are confused what really is the application. So, so we can talk about uh, this later on when, when we meet up in maybe in the office or, or some other place. But, but even for utility guys, I mean, why not uh, have a east-west facing instead of a south-facing thing? If we have a east-west facing uh, bifacial panel, when the sun goes in the east and, the, and then goes to the west, we can harness more energy. And the cost is really not double. It is, it is slightly more, but it is not double. So, so this this is something that we are still exploring in the deserts. Uh, we, we have put some test sites in, in, the, in the deserts and I think around 30 percent is, is, is roughly what the, the extra energy that you will get from a bifacial panel. And, and there is definitely a, a business case for this. Uh, it depends on the tariff you are in. Yeah, so what, what else beyond the solar panel? So yeah, I think uh, it's quite interesting, you know, that uh, everyone keeps on overloading the inverters. I mean, we meet, we meet guys who are overloaded to 40 percent. Some guys are saying 30 percent. But you know, what, what is the method to the madness? I mean, there has to be some calculation behind it. So, so Jinko will work uh, closely with you because we don't think there is a, there is a, there is a one 
one one thumb rule to say that you know it is 40 percent or 30 percent it really depends on the radiation if, if i was at badla where i know that the radiation will be between 1000 to 1100 will be quite high i would probably never load it too much but but if i was there at karnataka where i know that the radiation is probably around 700 watts per meter square i'll think about over overloading it so so what we are helping customers is that uh, uh, so if, if, if you look at the excel table what we are doing is that uh, for, for different scenarios we are uh, trying to help the customer in un understanding that for this particular location how much is the overloading that you can do the to, to the invert inverter so so we are going into the module plus business out here right um, yeah i think performance data i think uh, last eight years i have been in solar i've never seen any i've, I've seen people talk about data all the time but uh, no developer, no EPC has ever come and said that this is my data from the site. Never, never happened. But uh, so, so we, 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 talk, we talk about how it should be done, but the results and the graphs, ne never seen it. Because, you know, I always hear the, 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 the ABB grit inverter, but then the SCADA broke down, my stuff is in CDs, it was in hot climate, the CD burned. I've, I've seen all crazy stuff about uh, not, not getting the data. And uh, I, I've seen I've, I've seen really big plants which are not able to give us the data. But here is what we can do: uh, we, we, if, if if you have a detailed data, and, and when I mean detailed data, I, I mean the weather data and the generation data and the temperature. You can come to us. Don't tell us the panel name, but we can run expected versus actual PR simulation for you. Okay, the the, the real right way. Okay, we, we can do it for you because when people often take the expected PR, they take the NASA value and the actual value is the actual weather file. So there's a big big, big disconnect between the, the weather data. So, so we can help you do that. Yeah, yeah, degradation. Yeah, a lot of people are assuming uh, a lot of uh, aggressive degradation numbers, but uh, we can help you with software. But, but again, the key is data. This is something that we have done for an Indian customer. And uh, so, so, so just to understand this graph on the, on, on the x-axis, you have uh, the data for several months. This is probably around three years data. And, and this is a really, really minute data of 15 minutes. On, on the y-axis, uh, the customer was able to tell us uh, the instantaneous uh, power and we converted that into STC and and now the black line is the warranty actually over a period of time what should be the panel uh, output based on the warranty that we give you and, and and the yellow line is the degradation over a period of time and as you can see it is a slope so so we can tell you that what is the expected degradation of the panel over a period of time so so so, so Jinko can help customers in this by going beyond the panel I think the desert solution will become uh, more and more uh, prominent because uh, solar panel is really not a commodity. Uh, Badla is a really different geography. It is a uh, uh, dry climate, extremely hot. You cannot have the same panel as, as a commodity put into a, a place like Rajasthan. You will have anti-cleaning, uh, anti -cleaning, uh, air coating, special air coating, special uh, uh, EVAs, special back sheets to go for Badla. You, you cannot put a commodity into Badla. All, all, already too many claims there. So, so we are we, we are working very aggressively to have uh, uh, some special uh, uh, products uh, to 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 for, for a climate like Badla. Maybe a little expensive, but uh, it it will justify the premium. Yeah. And then we, we are helping customers analyzing the local data. I mean, this is something for, for a typical desert. And what I want to show you is that between 1100 to 1200 watts per meter square, you'll have probably around four percent of the annual energy is still there, which we can or cannot harness depending on the bomb that we select. Yeah, so this is what we do. What does all this mean to the developer? I mean, this is a Gujarat SLDC data all online. And you can see that some plant was at the same time, some plant was working at 20%. Uh, you can call it as a P, roughly as a PLF, not, not exactly as a PLF. It is the instantaneous value versus generation. Some was high, some was some was high and some was low. So, so, so really, I mean, different panels behave very differently. And you can just go online and, and go to Gujarat SLDC. Yeah, this is the final presentation, uh, the final slide. So what we are saying is that a 2% extra energy yield will not lead to 2% extra IRR, it will be more because they are not a linear function, they are exponential function, yeah. And, and, and the developers know it quite well, yeah. Yeah, this is all from us. Thank you so much. Hope to speak to you. Thanks. Thanks, Vivek. That was very crisp and to the point. Hits the nail on the head. In our race to the bottom, how much is quality going to suffer? So I'm just going to pick up on that track and... Uh, I'm Ritesh Pothan. I'm with uh, Scorpius Trackers. Scorpius Trackers is now the number one Indian tracker technology installed. We've got 251, 250 megawatt installed in India as of now. And we are the only global tracker organization with multiple solutions. Alan talked about 
centralized solution. We have both a centralized as well as a decentralized solution. Our decentralized solution uh, caters to certain markets, certain land profiles, and is coming online by end of June. And our decentralized, uh, sorry, our centralized solution is what has been installed in 250 megawatt. So why track the sun? I'm, um, I think Alan has covered it to a pretty large extent. The generation gain, the LCOE, that's what you're after. It's not the cost per megawatt. I think there has been a lot of uh, focus on cost per megawatt. As Indians, we have an ingrained bias where if something works, we just keep working with that and pushing and pushing and pushing. Uh, whereas uh, the technology that we've developed is completely made in India. So it's all developed at our research center in Pune, our bearings, our uh, PCBs, the um, actual assembly language coding, everything, all the entire algorithms, everything is done in India. And we are now expanding globally. We have installations in Japan, which is one of the toughest markets in the world. Quality is absolutely supreme in Japan. Um, I'll show you the photograph for our plant there. We have it in uh, Middle East. We have it in Africa. We have um, also supplied in the US. So we're growing tremendously. And the reason behind our growth is the fact that we are able to deliver on what we talk about. Now, if you see this generation, that numbers that we're talking about, you can take a look at Power Gada. Sorry. Uh, Power Gada, you talk about Mysore. On average that we are seeing, we have never seen, at least in our installations, anything south of 17, 17 and a half percent. And uh, we're talking of in locations like Punjab, where we come up with certain unique solutions to deliver almost 18%. And 18% for a tracker is, is very good, especially in the Indian scenario with a lot of soiling losses, with a lot of uh, uh, technicalities that you need to deal with, with grid, everything. The reason why or the reason why we are growing and the reason why we are amongst the best, I mean, if you compare apple to apple, is that we have zero mechanical o &M. So our bearings are designed in such a way that they're built to last for a long, long, long time. That means post 25 years as well. Uh, they undergo soil spray testing. They've undergone a lot of testing. And the pedigree of the organization is such that our founders are in the automobile and the digital image analysis and the metallurgical industry for the last 20 years, they are serial entrepreneurs. So they have come up with reverse bolt-on, uh, late system. So there's a tremendous amount of technology pedigree that has come into the organization. Even before we started with the single axis tracking, the focus of the organization was on to C uh, CPV. So you had to do dual axis. So we had to actually focus our technology down one notch to move to single axis tracking. And which is why we brought a lot of quality and a lot of uh, structure and a lot of thought into uh, the product and now you know it's a proven track record I'll come to the various certifications bankability and everything no lubrication our uh, bearings are actually not metal on metal because the reason because what happens is that you have metal on metal bearings when you have a lightning strike um, some of them tend to get fused so there are a lot of lot of optimizations from um, the day we've installed about four years ago um, and the reason why I'm focusing on mechanical is because everyone has it in their there's a bias that says that Trackers means more o &M. That's not really true. If you go with a good tracker, someone who knows their job, someone who's absolutely been tested, verified, validated, that's the actual increase, the actual increase that you would look at in our trackers on a year-on-year -year basis after the fifth year is just about six to 7,000 rupees. And that's only to change the battery. We are self-powered. So the way that it works is that we consume 300 units in a year. That's for a megawatt, 300. And that's self-powered because we have individual uh, modules powering our systems. So from that perspective, I'd like to dispel that myth that trackers are more work, trackers are more effort, trackers are more components, so you would have more issues. That's not true. If you look at a good tracker, those things don't really come into play. So we have, this is this is sort of a road tracker where you can actually use long, it's not required that you have squarish plots or rectangular plots. You can use any type of plots. You can, uh, we have dual technology. So even if your land is uh, variable, even if there's a lot of leveling required, if there's a lot of, uh, if you can work around that. So we have dual technology and that's that's the advantage we bring to the table. So, like everybody says, how much can you squeeze? How much can you use? In the US, you would have a tracker pitch of about six meters. Six meters works out to about some five and a half to six, um, six acres per megawatt. But you have to look at the million unit generated. 
So if you were to put the fixed tilt, if you were to compare million unit to million or a kilowatt hour to a kilowatt hour, a tracker would take lower space. So in five acres, you can easily match that of a fixed tilt. So it's not about the fact that trackers, that's another myth that trackers need more land. Yes, we can do the same tracker in a four meter pitch. You can do it in a four and a half. You can do it in a five meter pitch. You can do it in a 4.8. You can do it what? And that is where all the technology, all the expertise, all the ingenuity, all of that comes in where you actually de develop, deliver, develop and deliver a solution that gives you the value for your money. Um, the way that we've worked is that we are also, I mean, we are also helping inverter because if you look at inverter data sheets none of them say more than 1.2 dc loading ratio a few of them now are committing to that they might uh, i mean they're not giving it to you in writing they were giving it to you in a separate paper but very few of them are actually in the data sheet saying that they can do 1.3 1.4 so we are avoiding that issue because the max loading that you need to do on a tracker is about 1.1 1.2 that's the max loading because you're optimizing then that's where quality comes in that's where your quality panels quality systems all of that, but at the end of the day, you have to look at it, trackers as a solution are absolutely now in. It's no longer a choice of if, it's when. If you see, there are certain developers who have gone with their entire portfolio on trackers, right? And now if you're talking, I think uh, Alan was mentioning, Alan, what was that number? About 1. 1. 1.45 in India on trackers. So it's not an if. So the reason why people are pushing fixed tilt, I guess, to a certain extent is because of comfort. A lot of Indians, we believe in comfort. Once we're comfortable with a certain thing, we go with that. But again, technology has to come in because as you match, as you try and move forward, you have to work with technology. And that's the reason why you have a mobile phone. Otherwise, you would have just had a self uh, handheld phone that you is working at home. So end of the day, we all have to move forward. And um, we are absolutely, we have now, uh, we are one of the few people who have a Black & Veatch engineering bankability. So we spent six months, Black & Veatch is one of the top engineering companies globally, and they have spent six months in a huge, and we spent a huge amount of money making sure that our entire process, our entire manufacturing process, supply, delivery, the uh, design, everything has gone through a bankability testing, and this is a necessity when you're selling in the markets, in the US markets, in the global markets. And this is, um, we have spent a lot of time and effort into doing this. We're also, our, our trackers are also boundary layer wind tunnel tested. I'll take you to that, the boundary layer wind tunnel tested. So the way that it works is that you have two different types of wind tunnels. You have our aerodynamic tunnel, which is simple, continuous speed for uh, majorly aeroplanes, aerodynamics, whereas, and boundary layer is to, is to design when you're designing buildings, when you're designing structures, to, and it gives you different wind profiles at different heights. And because of the different wind profiles, you can actually simulate atmospheric conditions that are on the ground. Right? I'll come to that later. So, like I said, in Telangana, we're talking about a simple Telangana. We've had this plant now running for one and a half year. This client has given us, first he gave us 10 megawatt, then he gave us another 10 megawatt, and then he's given another six megawatt. They are that happy. And we're talking about an average of 18 months of almost 18%, 17.8%. So that's a very good number. He's absolutely happy laughing all the way to the bank. Right? I just did, we just did a simple 20, 250 megawatt what if analysis. This is a simple um, six, I think I've shared it with some developers here. So they know the value that we're bringing to the table. It's not only the fact that for MU to MU basis, we took a 250 megawatt. This is one of the recent uh, tenders. We just did a simple analysis. We did an MU to MU comparison, even below 17%. And that's tracker gain. And, and this area, we're quite sure it's almost 18, 19. But we, we are very conservative. I mean, we are from uh, a very conservative engineering. We're not sales guys. We're all technocrats, including myself. So we're very conservative. So we took even at 16.8%. If you just take a, and that's something that you'll hit at no plant. Okay, let me give you a disclaimer. No plant of ours is below 17 and a half or percent till date, right? We've had customers come to us and say, no other plants are giving 15. I said, again, it's the, you have good technology and you have good technology. So it's up to you, whether you're looking at quality, you're looking at what are you looking for in the long run? So you need to focus on that because we have proven, again, in India, proven where you can touch, where you can see, that's very important. So we just did this analysis 
And just to run you through the numbers, if you see it's a 250 megawatt peak, you'd need just at 16.8%, you'd need 292 megawatt peak fixed tilt to match the same generation, right? Is it clear to everyone? Is there the thing? Is it clear? Right. So you need 42 megawatts more to match the same MU at a very low track again, right? Because if you come up to 18%, this number 292 would be almost 300, 300, 305. And if you go south, this is actually around AP or area AP Telangana. If you go south, we are looking at numbers in 18, 19, 20 percent also. It all depends. Now we are talking about if you are talking about land requirement, you see the land requirement here is just 4.73 acres. So it's similar to it's actually lower than fixed tilt if you take five acres. And this is including the boundary wall, inverters, everything. That's the tracker pitch we are talking about. Four point. You get this to six, this gain will go close to 18 percent. So. If you have more land, you can obviously generate more. So if you have a place where land is cheap, you can definitely look at it from that. So rather than going on DC ratio, you can look at tracker pitch, which will give you the same thing, right? And we are looking at a saving. If you just take a simple saving of 25 years at 17%, we're talking almost 55 crores upfront, right? O&M, because you've just saved 42 megawatt. And while people say O&M is a very cheap cost, but the moment you increase O&M by 1%, your equity IR drops by 1%. So that's where there's a lot of, and like I said, we are boundary layer, wind tunnel tested, BNV bankability, ASC 7-10, IS 875 load, structure compliant to ASIC 360 SI S10, whereas the Indian, the Indian standards don't even meet simple standards of dynamic talk. So I don't have that video here. I'm not sure if the video works on this PDF, but basically when you have a, a, a structure, there will be different vortexes created. So high pressure, low pressure areas are constantly created. So the Indian standard is built for large, large systems. So that's where there's a lot of lacuna there. Sorry. And this is a boundary layer wind tunnel, like I was mentioning, you can see there's 100 feet, the entire structure would be created, there will be a simile created for the structure. And there would be the testing out. Um, will the video work? Is there internet? Internet, okay, so we'll skip that maybe. When I share, uh, I mean, share when they share the presentation, you can click on it and watch it yourself. So the wind tunnel, the way it is that the entire, the entire structure is rotated by about 10 degrees. So no matter which side the wind comes from, your investment is safe. That's the advantage. Whereas if you go for a wind tunnel, I mean, if you go for fixed tilt, I'm not sure how many developers are actually doing a wind tunnel. How many actually know that from a 40 ton to a 35 to a 30 to a 25, with it, will it really last? And I think that is where you need to see, that's where the price casualties are coming in, right? It's a little harsh, but it's necessary to see what happens when you, when you compromise on quality, safety, reliability. And it's not saying that uh, all trackers are all, all the same. So this is something that happens when you under design or badly designed trackers as well. So that's very important. This is the durability cycle, life cycle reliability testing we do with our components. The entire PCB, if you will see the PCBs that we manufacture are not manufactured in an AC environment. They're manufactured in a, where your fan is rotating. We do that specifically because we want to make sure that real, and this is in Pune where it hits 40 degrees. So they're actually soldered in that environment. So if they work in that environment, chances are there, and not chances, but they are working. Four years, we've never had a mechanical failure. PCBs, we've never had any issues with them. So the bankability testing, this is something that Black & Veatch did. It covered product design assembly, specification, field performance, review of test site, component materials, technology, durability testing, independent testing, company. So the list just goes on. And these are installation photographs. You can see Africa, you can see um, this is India. You have India, this would be the Punjab plant where we've done a 10 degree tilt. So uh, we had a certain, certain developer, he went in Punjab with a zero degree with some other uh, client and he was able to get barely 15 degrees. At our plant, we were able to get 18 degrees. So there's a lot of advantage and a lot of thought and a lot, even in, in Japan, this, this plant, you, can, you can't see this in the background, but actually maybe that little white thing, that's Mount Fujiyama, right? So Japan is a very harsh terrain. There we are doing north to, north to south, tracking daily seasonal tilt. 
So that's, and, and now based on this, because of the quality, we're getting repeat orders from Japan. And like I can say, I can actually say Japan is a quality, it's because they're getting huge tariffs. So tracking is a no brainer. But the fact here is that we're getting 13% in a climate like Japan, and we have worked without a problem for the last year, year and a half. These are our various installations. Right now we've got 250 and then 700 uh, in the pipeline. And these are ongoing discussions, the global footprint. And you have my number, this slide will be circulated. Please feel free to reach out anytime. Thank you very much.